Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with an unboxing video. It's been a while since I've done one of these um, because I've been moving and I haven't really been buying beads. Uh, I finally moved into my temporary apartment yesterday. It was the most dramatic move I've ever gone through. It was horrible. Um, more on that in another video. <laughs> but I wanted to show you some stuff I got from Lori Matson. Um, gosh, it was a while back and I just have not had the bandwidth to do very much YouTube thing things for YouTube at all and I feel bad about that but um, let's see she has some really cute Easter stuff and she puts together really cute kits um, she usually sells in a couple groups that I'm uh, a member of one is hole in the wall beads um, D stash group and I can't remember the other one but I'll put links to both in the description of this video look at these beads <laughs> this was a kit that she put together and i actually bought the kit because of these beads they're so cool i don't even know how to describe this bead um let me get in a little bit closer here we go and i just thought those were super duper awesome i bought an extra set of them um this was an easter kit like i said but i think i would use these more in a tribal setting um, I just really love the stripes, that bright orange and the little flower on the side. So cool. And then these are the other things that were in the Easter kit. So cute. Look at the little carrots. And then the little bunnies with the carrot. I actually got some really cute um, charms. Uh, from Amazon too. I'll put those in the links below. I don't know if I'm going to do a video on those, but I might do some videos including them. And then some really cute um, paperclip chain that's a bracelet. So this could be a charm uh, bracelet. Love that. Um, and then I got some of these, I think they're lampwork glass. They're like little flower coins. It's a pale pink with a luster or maybe even a pale lilac with a luster. Love those. And then a baby blue. Beautiful. These are great spring beads. Love that blue. And then I got some other focal beads from her. Two sets of these. Just loving the stripes, apparently. Gosh, those are so cool. I don't know. I think that she said they're vintage, but I'm not really sure about that. I think... They look vintage, but I can't remember if she put it in her listing or not. They're so awesome. So I got two sets of those, and then I got two sets of two of these. These are some big honking mamas. <laughs> look at those. Oh, these absolutely are vintage. They're just, they're, these are an art bead, if there ever was an art bead. They kind of remind me of the circus, but they also look tribal to me. I love this. I love it. So I got four of those beads. They're huge. And then Lori's been coming out. Well, she's always had, always had some really great chain, but she's been showing more and more new chain. Um, I got some more of this. I think I got this the last time I shopped with her, but I really like it. It's this antique brass uh, chain. Perfect for just about everything. I got some black curb chain that's kind of got that diamond cut on it. Oh, here's a little thank you from her. So cute. And I'm glad she sent some of these because I had, I had looked at them for a little while and I think they were in a kit and I decided against the kit, but I really liked the beads. So pretty. They, they're ceramic, but they're um, painted to look like a like wood in that middle like swirl. looks like wood to me. And some little hearts. Oh, oh, they're not hearts. Well, I guess they could be hearts, but I th this whole time thought they were hearts. They're drops. That is so cool. So interesting. And then we've got some heart chandeliers. I like these. I haven't seen those before. So cute. And then she also included, is this a puppy? Oh my gosh, it's a cute little puppy. A couple of puppies and a couple of fishies. 
cute little blue and yellow love those and then I also bought, so that was the nice thank you from Lori. These were some silver link chain. Love the texture on that. Some gold ring chain. More texture. I wonder, are these soldered together or not? Can't tell. I think I can open this. I think it's... I don't think it's soldered closed, but the, my, my nails are not strong enough for that. But if it's not soldered closed, it can use these as really nice textured jump rings. I got one of these lockets. Love it. My plan is to paint this with patina paints once I move into my new house because all my patina paints are in storage. Everything, most of my beads are in storage. <sighs> that was a big job. I got to tell you, it being one person packing out the three bedroom house and one and two of those bedrooms holds beads <laughs> it was nothing i want to do ever again um and then i got the textured links in um copper and actually now that i'm looking at these they are not oh, oh yeah, no i think they're i think they're soldered closed okay so what i would have to do is just cut them if I wanted to use them as rings. There's so many of them that I probably would do that. Two more things. I got some vintage beaded chain in two different colors. So I got this purple, which is absolutely stunning. I love this. It's acrylic. So cute. You got six feet. And then I got the this blue uh, acrylic beaded chain. I'm in love with this whole order. I, I would say my favorites are probably this copper chain, these beads, and these beads. So very eclectic order. I always love ordering from Lori because I just never know what she's going to have. And she's always so fast with everything. So I will put a link to the groups that she usually sells in. She doesn't sell in her own group yet. Um, and she doesn't have a website, but let me know what your favorite was. Stay tuned for Goldie. Uh, she's super cute and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.